He tells us, the Muslim, that Allah responds to all that calls on him. And nothing can escape the law. And we are reminded, let us be sincere and try to improve our ability as we learn more about our religion. So today, I just wanted to put emphasis on us who really claim that we are believers. Then there is something in this book that asks the believers and asks us, do we think we'll be left on just saying that? Saying we believe and not be tried and tested. And as mentioned earlier, these are cats. And it depends on how we call on the law for help. Not just for ourselves, but for all humanity. Because the television brings that pleasure to us to show us that we're not in this alone. As you hear a lot of the commercials and things, say we're all in this together. Well, they got that right. We are. No matter what our attitude toward believing that, none of us can escape the growth and development and the nature of the human being. Because we're all a human being. And so we have this same identical quest to improve our life. So the Holy Quran tells us there is no God but He. He's the creator of all things. Therefore, worship Him only. Don't let the fear of this disease stop us from seeking scientific information that can help ourselves and others to conquer this particular disease. And in the meantime, let us pay close attention to our conviction, to our faith. Because it said, He, Allah, is the one who will conclude all affairs and settle all the differences in the end. So we know that we're going through these trials where governments open and close them because they will think that, oh, it's okay right now. But then they don't carry into practice the principles to maintain a social difference, a masking when you're in group, and then put emphasis on the material life instead of all the spiritual, the moral, and the physical health and well-being of all of us. So this is a sign for us to take a second look and pay close attention to what is <coughs> taking place out there and for us to ask the Lord to give us the proper guidance so we not only guide ourselves but to guide our families and community by being an example of obedience, sir. Because wherever we hear the truth, we have to obey it. And even though we may have not said it, but if others, because that's a powerful statement in the Quran where it says, Allah is the one who created all these different ethnic groups and cultures. For us to get to know each other, not despise each other. So we're all in that race to try to figure out how to conquer this particular disease, this particular uh, pandemic. And we all must reflect. And we all should remember to call on the one who we claim we believe in to ask for guidance. Go back to the scripture for the revelation to read about the sign and how members of the past had to deal with great signs, great difficulties of the time. That they couldn't run and hide, but they had to be tested by their faith, which they claimed they believed in. So there is a principal responsibility for all of us who claim that we are believers in the one God. And we can't have a selfish belief because it also
also give explanation that to whom much is given. So if we feel that we're on the right path, then it says much is expected. So we have to become more responsible for the knowledge, the truth and understanding that we have. And so I will advise you to read that, <coughs> sir, called The Believer. And those of you with your scripture book, keep your faith. Go back and pray more. Ask Almighty God, Allah, to open up our heart and mind to his truth. And with that, my brothers and sisters, I believe with all of the world, I greet you. A salam alaykum. God can really render in our hearts and minds because we may not know what's in each other's heart and mind, but Almighty God does. Almighty God, Allah does. And so we thank Him and we can't thank Him enough because in our book called Quran, it, it gives us a thought to carry on throughout our life and especially when we think we have acquired wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that we have acquired the pathway to righteousness. Allah reminds us in a question, is he asked us, and of which of the favors of your Lord can you deny? For educators, how did you become educated? For school teachers and builders, for those who are scientists, nurses, and doctors, those who are fathers taking care of their family, the fathers and mothers. It asked us in all of our endeavors, it said, of which of the favors, and when we say favors, just think, to be a father, to be a mother, be a responsible person. How did we learn that? Who put it in our nature to be obedient, to be compassionate, and not just to be color conscious and think of ourselves as an entity or an island to ourselves? No. So we are reminded to share inf our information with each other. And when we do that, we are truly living out the creed, the responsibility, the nature of all humanity. And what is that nature? That nature, as described to us in the Quran, is to seek Allah first and last by being obedient to the revelation that he sent to us and sent before our time. So it don't leave out none of the uh, religious order. Those that have been blessed to follow the angel or the gospel or the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Jewish scripture, uh, the Sabian, the religions that prophets were sent by Allah to, to correct behavior. This is why we've been tested to see if we can call on that same God that was here before we were that created all of us for help. And, and it's so important to obey the science, the reality that we live in. If it's asked of us together in social distance so that we can help stop the spread of this COVID-19. And if it's asked of us to wear a mask, and it's not addressing any particular person, this is happening all over the world. So I know we are stressed, we, we get excited, we want to congregate, we want to just get back together. And that's okay. 
one of the greatest meaning for Juma is the gathering. To come together. But in that gathering, there's a responsibility. We have to get our heart and mind together by asking Allah to keep us obedient to His signs that He put out there. And we're living in a time that we have to obey the time. Obey the instruction that is in you. And so in reading and in concluding, remember this, brothers and sisters. We still must be functional. We still must carry out the principle that, oh my God, has to be charitable to each other. Speak a word to the right in kind. It's so easy to go back in, into a negative ground if we don't seek the protection of Allah all the time. Because if we have those tendencies, Allah gives us the remedy to those tendencies by keeping up our prayer. And if we sincerely say in our prayer, in a show in our character, in our conversation, when we have our little hitches, our little groups, or the big congregation, to ask the law for their mercy, to extend the mercy to them, to help them, so we don't be selfish and think, well, I'm all right. I'm, I'm this and that. No. The law created us to get to know each other and help each other. So I'm going to conclude with that. And just discuss that with your family. As I came before you, I said, Peace and love.